Hey everyone, today I'm reviewing the Lenovo T4060S and if you found this video you're asking yourself should I buy this laptop either for work or you know for your uh, personal needs um, it's a low cost business laptop um, pick this up for about a thousand dollars even so it is a, a Lenovo ThinkPad T460S S stands for slim and it was a good value but let's see whether um, it's worth the price uh, or if you should opt to get another laptop okay so let's go take a look at um, the profile of this laptop you can tell it's a uh, tapered design it's a little thicker at the end here and then it slims down and this is the back so let's look at the ports uh, first over here on this side you have your standard um, square power connector for Lenovo you have one uh, USB 3.0 uh, connection uh, this is the vent for the heatsink fans your CPU this is uh, your headphone jack SD card reader here take a look at the other side smart card reader again this is a business laptop so you expect that uh, another USB 3.0 port mini display port HDMI, so it's nice that it has HDMI, especially if you're going to connect it to a projector that has a HDMI connection. Another uh, USB 3.0 port, Ethernet, and if your model supports it, this is where you would put your SIM card uh, for cellular service, and a Ken Kensington lock slot. So, looking at the bottom, um, one thing I noticed is not very user serviceable. Notice that it doesn't have a removable uh, battery on the outside. You do have to unscrew these um, five screws. One, two, three, four, five. This is to unlock the keyboard, I believe. Um, you have to take it out. And then later on, I'm going to be opening so you can see the inside of this. And then uh, it actually has two batteries. So I'm, I'll go into that later. But um, yeah, you, you can't just remove the battery and replace it if it goes bad uh, you have to actually open up the laptop so looking at the inside um, trackpads very nice it just supports touch and also click I found that it's a little loud for my taste and then you can use this to control the mouse if you wanted to and these buttons if you're gonna be using this uh, nav point or whatever they call it and it does support, uh, it does have uh, illuminated lighting on the keyboard, which is nice. Uh, this is a 1080p screen. Not very uh, high end, but it's good enough. Uh, screen size is uh, good for most business use, normal use. So now I'm going to go into actually um, how I like the laptop in terms of the screen. As soon as I turn on the computer I mean the laptop I noticed some vertical lines uh, kind of like a grid or something like that and I was like maybe my eyes something with my eyes or the refresh rate but I did find at least one other user uh, I switched on Google that had this experience same thing uh, you know upon turning on the laptop you see some vertical light, like faint vertical lines and if you're sensitive to those type of things it may give you a headache uh, as that person claimed that it gave him a headache um, it seems to get better over time so if once you've had it on for about an hour either the lines go away you don't notice it as much um, also the color is not very good it's okay for a business laptop but um, if you're doing any kind of design work uh, graphics web anything like that I don't recommend this laptop uh, for that purpose, uh, especially poor color uh, reproduction. Um, as far as quality of the keyboard, let's say, it's pretty good. It's what you would expect from a uh, Lenovo laptop. Um, so it's good, and the fact that it has a illuminated keyboard is nice. The trackpad is pretty good. I mean, I would say it's kind of up there with like something like a MacBook Air so um, not the best but uh, it's fine it is a little loud 
uh, but again you could just use the touch if, if you don't like uh, it being loud which is fine um, now in terms of um, how well it functions it did start getting hot uh, from this side I felt the heat I hadn't been using it for very long it did freeze up on me a couple of times the first time is I had the power connected and I was watching a YouTube video I disconnected it my whole screen turned black kind of froze up and um, I was able to get it back um, to show me uh, the desktop again but it, it took a while I'll say a few minutes um, and the second time was that using it after about like uh, two hours or so um, I was viewing a web page and the laptop just froze on me so um, you know something's up uh, I installed all the latest drivers and all that so I'm not sure what's going on there so you know there are some issues with my some concerns of quality with the screen and with the laptop um, I mean as you can tell it's this is not comparable to um, a Lenovo X1 Carbon you can tell it's like a lower end version of that it's like if you wanted to cut on costs you'd build this instead of the X1 Carbon so again it's only a thousand dollars but um, I'm gonna go ahead and um, open up um, the uh, back side here and then I'm going to show you the inside to see what's actually in this, in this laptop. Okay so I went ahead and loosened up these five screws and I'm just going to kind of like pop it up from here. So you just, there's some clips here on the side and I think over here too that um, kind of hold it in. And you know you're not going to see too many uh, YouTube channels that show you the actual inside of the, of the laptop. Um, I'm used to opening laptops so I don't mind showing you guys uh, what's on here. So notice that it has two batteries. This larger battery down here and this smaller one here. One thing I noticed is that, is that when you're charging this laptop it only charges one battery at a time. It seems to charge battery two first and then when it's done charging that it's going to charge the other one. So just know that it's going to take a while to charge both batteries. It, it does them uh, sequentially not in parallel. Um, over here interestingly um, you see that they've used the uh, M2 um, SATA drive so it's not the 2.5 inch uh, SATA that you see in, in, you know, in the past they've switched over to um, this M2 SATA it's not the M MVME which is more expensive it's the M2 dot, uh, SATA and I only see one RAM slot here so that might be an issue for some people that worry about upgrading uh, this is the CPU fan, looks pretty standard. It's got an Intel, I think, um, 530 um, graphics, which is totally fine. I, I'm actually running that on my desktop. Um, I've been running games on it, it, it runs fine. Um, it's got some kind of dock connector here. And I mean, there's nothing else much to say other than the batteries. Uh, one other thing that I did notice is when you're playing um, you know, video or something, the sound is actually coming from the bottom of the laptop. So that doesn't sound too well. Um, it sounds kind of more heavy on the bass, a little muffled, um, not too much treble. Also when I connected to the uh, audio jack, it sounded very uh, heavy on the bass. And um, so if you want to hear music on it, it's not going to sound too well. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, close this up now and just give you my final thoughts on it. Okay, so here's my final thoughts on this uh, Lenovo T460S, uh, the slim version of the T460. Um, you probably uh, come to this um, video because you're either some type of IT manager and you're looking to buy uh, a lot of laptops or say one of your labs. Uh, and you know, you had a, a very set budget and this you if you know you found this Lenovo laptop for only about a thousand bucks or maybe you got a better deal uh, less than that and the question is is this is this gonna be um, you know good enough for what you're doing or you know you're just a single person and uh, you're looking for a laptop uh, that you want to use for work to do work uh, or to travel with um, or you, you know you just want you're just someone else that um, just wants to use it for regular use, so you know, wants to buy a cheap business laptop uh, for general use. So, in terms of of the um, of that, 
I'm gonna say I don't recommend this laptop due to the issues I experienced with the screen. Uh, you know, it has like a, a flickering um, and some vertical lines, like a, what they call like a grid of vertical lines. And it, 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 although it seemed to go away after a while, if you know, the fact that uh, right off the bat when I turned it on, it had that. It's very concerning. And um, keyboard and trackpad are fine. They're good enough. Um, the overall build quality not very good, not very attractive. I mean, if you're buying it for yourself, um, it doesn't look as cool as let's say a MacBook Air or something like that. Um, so if you compare this to an, a Lenovo X1 Carbon, the, you know the X1 Carbon looks really nice. It's comparable to let's say a MacBook Air. So. Yeah, I, I'm gonna say I don't recommend this laptop even though it is about a thousand dollars or less if you can get a better deal. Um, go for the, I would say go for the Lenovo X1 Carbon. Uh, I think they're on the third generation now. Um, and that laptop I think is a lot better than this, you know, spend a few, a uh, couple, you know, hundred dollars extra to buy the Lenovo X1 Carbon over this. Uh, but yeah, that's my take on this uh, Lenovo T460S laptop. Thank you.